Hey guys, this is Sean Bresney and thanks for visiting my channel. Uh, today I'm just going to show you kind of my quick process for scanning film using my Pacon scanner and showing you the process that I take from that scanner into Lightroom. And what I have here is a quick time lapse just to kind of quickly show that process. Uh, the process takes approximately about three to five minutes to to load into that pack on scanner. This one's called Next Lab. It's just kind of on a, like a, another brand branding name on the pack on, but Next Lab and pack on are essentially the same thing. All right, here we go. Okay, I've got all the pictures scanned into the computer now. Uh, this is my desktop Mac, and I use um, with this Pacon scanner. You have to have a Windows XP virtual machine. I know it's uh, it's a little bit antiquated, but it works. And uh, once you get past some of the technical hurdles of getting that Windows XP machine up, um, you can use the drivers for that Pacon software. So. I already have that up and running and the photos have just loaded into that software which I have in this window right here and the first thing I do uh, from here is I I basically uh, I don't do really many any uh, touch up inside this application um, mostly what I do is I'll, I'll um, get the images correctly aligned from vertical and horizontal perspectives um, so that's what I'll do right now and just kind of quickly go through it and um, and you can I think you can multi select um, can you multi select okay it looks like you can um, usually just kind of go one by one here unless I have a string of them in a row Uh, so some of these photos are just some street shots that I took um, one day uh, last week and I think that's it okay I got a couple more okay so once I've adjusted the perspective and I know I can do this in Lightroom I just like when I bring these files over I like their native uh, them for them to come over native in the right orientation, um, and you can double click on these images. Um, they also come up that way. Um, so when it's first scanned, uh, the Pacon scanner uh, try basically thinks it's C41 color film, and because I have black and white, um, these don't come over strictly black and white. Um, when I bring them into Lightroom I uh, apply black and white uh, or actually desaturate them and then they come over black and white and I have a preset that I've made uh, that just basically does that on import. And uh, okay so I think we've got everything here select all and there's a save button. Um, I have a shared drive here from this Windows XP virtual machine. I select that and um, I usually give a prefix of the camera, the film, and my roll number, which is this is roll six. And and then all these underscores are just kind of spaces and this last under underscore will be the f image number um, and that Z drive goes to this Windows XP share right here that's Z is mapped on the Windows XP side and basically do that hit OK and you can see this exporting images progress bar goes here and when it gets to 100% there that means all the images are essentially copied from this virtual machine XP to my Mac into this XP folder and while that's going you can see they're loading here and I'll 
almost done. And this was a roll of 36, and it looks like I got 37 images out, which is pretty typical for a lot of the Leica M film cameras. You can usually get 37, 38, uh, sometimes 39, uh, with maybe a half frame of it taken out. All right, so that's the images. Uh, I'm going to pull this into Lightroom uh, in a minute. Um, oh, just one other thing. I use this program here called EXIF Editor. Um, and basically, if, if you don't know what this is, um, when you scan film, it doesn't come over with any EXIF information. Every photo on a digital camera has EXIF information. It's like the metadata behind each photo and it'll tell you the camera make and date time it may have some geotag location stuff it'll have all your exposure settings what I do with this one is I just kinda tag it with the camera and the lens and the ISO and so that way when it comes into Lightroom it looks like it it has all those properties kinda built in um, and this EXIF editor I think is a free app um, I think on the Mac App Store. If not, you can download it and install. All right, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I will show you on the Lightroom side. Okay, just wanted to follow up with that EXIF editor application. It is a Mac App Store application. The cost is $9.99, and it's out there. I'm not sure if they have an eval version, uh, but if you like to add your EXIF information or you want to get that added to your film scanned film shots uh, from whatever scanner um, this is the way to do it um, I like it just because it's quick and easy uh, it, I think it got three stars out of five so you can check it out um, so basically um, I think I showed that you can enter in uh, ISO and it, all kinds of information I usually just go camera ISO and lens and maybe a user comment and that's about it um, so I, I applied that to all those photos and then brought into Lightroom on import uh, I then apply keywords uh, the main things that I I usually just kinda where I was and what kind of uh, gear that I have here as well um, and I know it's probably redundant to put the, the Leica on there as well but I like to do a search for it uh, when I'm looking for cameras. Um, the other thing is I keyword with uh, the roll number and I just tag it with the year and then roll and then I start out every year with roll 01 all the way up to um, I guess it could go to 99 uh, or beyond but uh, that's rare when I've shot a hundred rolls in a year. Um, so, and then basic edits that come in is I have this save preset, which I call Triax black and white conversion, just to give it a, the true black and white coming from the PacCon software. Uh, like I said before, it does a C41 black and white or C41 color. And I like the, the true black and white, so I apply my own preset. And most of the things that I do it, it's actually very little. I'll tag it um, with the keywords like I said and then I'll give it a rating and basically just kind of go through the the library and I'll tag it and have my kind of hands on the one, two, three kind of as my quick edits and um, I will give it a one and scroll and if it's something that I like uh, maybe I'll give it a two or a three and if it's something I really like a four or five but that would have to be a uh, top-notch photo in my in my book um, and then uh, let's see I don't really do too many other things if if it looks like the image needs something and I really like the image I may spend more time uh, very rarely I'll do any kind of cleanup or anything like that you can see there's a little bit of dust on from this scan um, but typically I don't do much of anything I may realign uh, perspectives in the develop module and fix things that were uh, off kilter for uh, if I didn't wasn't level. Um, usually not too many of those unless um, I think there was one on this roll that I did a quick 
edit on and I'm trying to find which one it was here um, yeah it was one of these I was trying to get a silhouette shot and I think I wasn't totally lined up and you know when you have things like this that will uh, accentuate if you are not aligned in your perspective um, then I'll do some corrections and stuff like that but yeah so that's my Lightroom workflow um, just wanted to give everyone kind of a quick heads up on that um, now the main thing just to kind of touch on that that role keyword um, for me I really like this I like to digitally organize my work into roles because I have my film also physically organized and I'll, I'll show this in a different video I have my roles organized uh, the same way so like if I want to go back to roll five here then I can easily do that and just kind of quickly get to each roll through the year and then I keep all of these uh, align, uh, uh, organized under years under my film descriptors um, so yeah and that's just kind of a, a quick way to get to my physical roles uh, hopefully it's a tip that helps you guys out thanks for watching and please give likes and subscribes if you like this video Thanks.